Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to Topo Talk. I tweeted a topology example out this week and a couple of you commented with alternative methods. So I thought I'd use this Topo Talk to show my technique and also include those alternative methods. And what we're looking at is these two triangles and this quad and how to make three quads out of these three faces. Now before I do that, I just want to talk about these two triangles. There's a lot of discussion about whether triangles are good or bad, and that really depends on how you're using them. In this case, they're pretty safe. They're on a flat face, and apart from the fact that they're coming down to this pole on this leading edge here, they're actually not really a problem at all. If we select a few edges here, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'll just grab that one there and that one there and control B to bevel. That will move the pole away from that leading edge. Notice here I've also got my outer mitre set to arc. So it's just a simple case of just terminating that. And, you know, we're good to go. So there's nothing wrong with those triangles. Let's just undo that. But there will be situations where the triangles are a problem. Maybe these are on a curved surface. Maybe there's uh, an issue with not being able to move this pole away from this edge. So it's good to know techniques for reworking the topology to create quads. The technique I use, if I just come over and remember to turn on my screencast keys, was to grab the knife tool and make a cut, right mouse button, continue that cut, and then just select this edge, this edge, and this edge, and dissolve. And then just GG, just to slide that out. So now we have three quads, one, two, three. And you can see that pole is no longer an issue. I'm gonna undo that. An alternative technique is to select these two edges and subdivide. Select that new edge, edge collapse, and there you go. That's actually quite a nice technique. It's a little faster and also means you don't have to slide that vertex out. So thanks to Kevin at IceCream3D on Twitter for that one. Now this technique comes from Matteo on Instagram. And this is really not much different to how I did it using the knife tool. But if I just hit space and type in poke and choose poke faces, you can see the shortcuts control F. That adds those two cuts. And once again, all I have to do is select this one, this one, and this one, and dissolve. And the reason that's useful is because you could do it to more than one face at a time, rather than using the knife tool to create multiple cuts across multiple faces. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Until next time, happy modeling.